Hey, what is up, you guys? <laughs> <laughs> hey, what's up, you guys? My name is Ray Myrna. Back at out with another video. It's me, my cousin, my little brother. It's just out. I don't know what he's doing. He's just hiding. And then Sean's in the background being Sean. But in this video, we're gonna just talk about the Logan Paul versus KSI fight. We're just discussing what we think, our thoughts are, and so on and so forth. So if you guys are new to the channel, I recommend subscribing, come join the family. I'm doing a Road to 100 giveaway, 100 subscribers, so yeah, join the family. And hit that like button if you do like the video. All right, let's get right into it. All right, so let's talk about KSI versus the Logan Paul fight. What do you think? What, what, do, you, what do you think of the fight, Chris? Uh, you know what I thought of that? What? Bull. Why do you think it was bull? Complete bull. Bull bleep. Bull. Oh my God. First off, okay, Logan Paul did did he did good. He did good in the beginning, right? Like he he threw in a lots of good punches. He was really quick. He was strong. He was big. You know, KSI couldn't really, uh, you know, he couldn't do much. And then until, and then, and then KSI came in, boom, boom, boom. And then he started kicking his ass. And, and then, so he basically he got like four rounds, because, you know, he kicked his ass really good. And at the end, he almost knocked his, he almost knocked his ass out. And, and then, and then, so, and then we freaking go to the votes, or like the judge, whatever. And then KSI gets one, gets one win. And then the other two give him ties. And so it's a majority tie. Bull So yeah. All right, Arnold, come here. What is your thought process? Bull crap. <laughs> Bull crap. Is that it? Yeah. <laughs> um, the fight was pretty good, except at the end. Um, KSI is the new Goku, obviously, and <laughs> I'm going way off the subject, and that's it. Okay. Oh, I have one more thing to add. Oh. And if they actually went up to 12 rounds like a real fight, KSI would have won. All right. So talking about the, the situation, not the situation. Talking about the fight. I mean, I I give Logan Paul the first two rounds. Oh, is my mic fixed? Alright. Yeah. Okay, okay. I felt like KSI wasn't ready for for Logan Paul in the beginning. I mean he had the confidence and everything, but physically I felt like he did. So basically what I what I think happened was the first two rounds Logan Paul was just playing around with KSI. I guess I kinda kinda well he did it did look like it was he he knew what he was doing. But it was it was more of a shock that he, Logan Paul he didn't expect that Logan Paul to be that good, so it kind of shocked him a bit and threw him off, which caused Log um, Logan Paul to had the upper hand in those two first rounds, as well as with the reach Logan Paul had, he had a pretty good reach advantage because uh -huh. he kept on hitting him with that jab. And then KSI could just not reach him when he tried to fight back. KSI could not reach Logan Paul. When the third round, like it was a kind of like, kind of like a do or die. I heard the judges talk about it. If JJ needs to do something, he has to do something in the third round. And I'm pretty sure his coach told him that too. Because third round, JJ just went off. He just mm -hmm. uh, his, that guy's stamina is just, you know what I'm saying? It just goes up. He, no, it's not. It doesn't go up. It just stays like right there. The whole entire fight, he was consistent. He was just, you know, always kept the momentum, momentum, momentum. Logan Paul, he was like peak, and then just down, going down here from there. The thing I love about the whole fight was KSI's dodging. I don't know if you put the clip right now, you know what I'm saying? But he just like, he just moves so quick. And then and that one time when he's just like on the bottom, like just like looking at the ground, you see that? When he's just like, not even, well, he's like kind of concentrating on Logan. Not really. He just dodged every single move. Like he knew where he was going to hit. He's like swinging. I know, he's just like swinging. So it's like... He was dodging everything Logan Paul gave. That's what you call Ultra Instinct. Uh huh. Uh -huh. Yeah, 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 I know. That's just like the best Classic. part for me. Like KSI, his, his <laughs> dodging skills were pretty good. The, the way he handled himself in the beginning, I thought it was pretty impressive. I'm not gonna lie, the way at the way at that like after the third round, it was just really sloppy for him. But I mean, it worked because you know I tired Logan Paul out because I guess he wasn't expecting that. He was, he was really big, a really big guy. 
but like those, those big muscles do need a lot of oxygen and you get tired and fatigued a lot faster because you have like I guess more not more body weight more muscle mass and just requires, requires more energy so yeah I'm pretty sure that's what it was yeah. K KSI was just you know he he's not as big as Logan but I mean I, I guess that works to the best of, better to his advantage because he doesn't have to waste that much energy and he kept his, his stamina uh, I feel like that and let's talk about the Actually, let's just wrap things up with Logan Paul and let's talk about yeah, the yeah, yeah. dead G fight. So yeah, I mean, overall, I feel like Logan Paul did lose to Deji. <laughs> to Deji, <laughs> yeah. Deji. yeah. If you think Logan Paul won, if you thought KSI won, then leave in the comments down below what your thought process was. I don't have the video because the video is not up, so this is be my commentary. If you did see the fight, that's good, and you can comment down, or if you didn't, then and, uh, yeah, you can still comment down below. So now we're gonna talk about <laughs> Deji versus <laughs> Jake Paul. Nah, How do you feel about that fight? I actually really like. I'm sorry. <laughs> I actually really like that fight. I mean, I wasn't really expecting Deji to win. I mean, I, I had like big like I had a you know hopes. I, was, I had hopes for him, and like during the fight. I, I like I actually my hopes went up really really high because he started getting Jake Paul really good. He made him bleed a lot, and I just thought you know I thought Deji had it for like a moment or two, and but then he just missed one shot. I so remember that. I just like he just missed one shot with the right, and then just Jake Paul just like dodges it, boom, right to the face, and that just really that was it for him. Um. Pretty good, like Chris said. I didn't expect Deji to win, but he did surprise me at the beginning. And Jake Paul did a good show. Deji did a good show. They all tried their best. That's all it. right. <laughs> oh my God. So, um, talking about the Deji fight versus Jake Paul, I feel like personally, Deji. W did a lot better than expected. I'm not gonna lie, when Deji came out, in my eyes, he looked pretty scared. Like, my thought process was that he was very, very nervous. Like, looking at him, because he was so quiet, he was so mellow, he just looked down. He's talking to his coaches, he just, you know, he didn't have that much energy. He didn't look like he had energy in his eyes. But, like, well, the, I guess the cool thing was, like, when he started fighting, his fans just kept on calling his name, Deji, Deji. And it was crazy, because, like, that gave him motivation. I saw him, like, being motivated, especially when he was fighting um, Jake Paul. Jake Paul was throwing punches, but he, Deji, like, I saw Deji fighting back. And I guess when he figured out if he could hit uh, Jake Paul, <laughs> is when he started getting more confident, more confident, which I, like, like I noticed. And then when he saw uh, Jake Paul bleed, he just, <laughs> boom, his confidence oh, yeah. rose up to like another level. <laughs> it was crazy. But he, 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 I guess it was good, but bad at the same time. Cause like he became a little bit too overconfident in one particular situation, which Jake Paul did get him in. He calmed himself down cause he was just getting a little bit too excited. But overall he, he did a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot better than expected. Everybody was just proud of him because everybody, it's kind of sad to say, but like most people thought he was going to lose the first round. Yeah. Even Keemstar said it. Yeah, even even Keemstar said it. But Keemstar, even even, even Keemstar in the nice middle of the fight. No, no, no. So I'm talking about that fight. You can actually heard a Keemstar saying it's not so oh. easy. Oh, yeah. Remember, yeah, that? remember that? So it's not so easy, huh? Oh, Jake Paul. Oh, to right. Jake Paul. Said Jake Paul said that he's going to knock him out in the first round. It did. They lasted oh, almost no. all yeah. six rounds. The crappy part about it is that he was fighting. I mean, he at the end of the day, he was losing stamina. He didn't have that much left in him, which kind of sucked. Because I feel like if he would have had more stamina, like the way KSI versus Logan Paul, I see Deji winning the fight if that would have happened. But unfortunately, it looked like he was fatigued. Jay Paul just was had more energy than Deji, and unfortunately, their his coaches did throw in the towel. Personally, for me, if, uh, if that was me, I rather I rather lose by getting knocked down or knocked out than somebody throw my coaches telling me like throwing in the towel. That's just like. It's not, it doesn't look good in my mind. Like, me personally, again, it could be different with other people, that's just me. 
Uh, other than that, my ass, Shawnee boy, what is uh, his his thought process is of the Deji Five versus Jake so, Paul? Okay, so, so, okay, so I should So I said Deji versus Jake Paul. Oh. <laughs> uh, so Deji, so tell us about Deji and Jake Paul. Yeah, so okay. KSI I should have won. <laughs> so uh, Deji should have won. <laughs> cause, Cause Connor's just came, you know. <laughs> <That's it>? <laughs> <laughs> Talk Wait. about the fight. What, how do you feel about the fight? What happened? Uh, I mean, I guess. I mean, I, I guess Shake Paul was stronger than Deji, but like, I feel like Deji should have won. Okay. Well, why do you think he should have won? Cause I'm a fan. <laughs> 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 well, who do you want to see in the next in the next botch, the Ooh. next fight? Oh, well, who do you want to see? Rice come first with W two last. All right. And who do you want to see? Uh, okay. Okay. So, well, I want to see Deji get really buff. He, he uh, rematches Jake Paul, knocks him out, and still have energy to fight Joe Worldwide and knock him out. <laughs> oh, <God. laughs> okay. And who do you want to see fight? I want to see KSI versus PewDiePie. What the? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because I want to see PewDiePie get. <laughs> All right. So he wants to see PewDiePie versus. Okay, so. KSI. He oh, wants to I, see Comedy, Comedy Shorts. Shorts Gamer versus Jake Paul again, and then Joe Weller. <laughs> yeah, and, and not, n not both of them out. And not both of them out. Okay. <laughs> the and then, um, I can't remember yours. Rice Gum <laughs> versus W2F. W2F. Uh, okay, S. S. Yeah. W2S. I have no idea who that is. <laughs> you <a> word irrelevant. <laughs> 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 wait, wait, if Logan Paul doesn't fight Ray, he's a people. <laughs> yeah, I guess. So yeah, this will conclude our video. I hope you guys did enjoy our thoughts on the fight. <laughs> so if you guys did like this video, give this video a thumbs up, hit that smash that like button. If you haven't subscribed yet, you know, come join the family, subscribe to my channel. We're, make, try, we're making videos. Um, every week trying to make it every day. I'm doing that giveaway once I reach up to 100 subscribers So I can subscribe to my channel other than that. I hope you guys did enjoy the video and I catch you on the next one. Peace I actually thought that might You know I'm at in Miami that my baby She know I ain't a nigga ballin' just like McGrady I'm tryna give her the keys to that Mercedes